Welcome back, everybody. Since my last video, I have scoured the internet. I have went from sea to shining sea. And I have spent hours and days and weeks finding you these clips, these videos of the craziest people that you could imagine. I worked so hard trying to find these videos. Nah, I'm just messing with you. You can find them all over Twitter. But this is the best place you're going to find them all combined together. These are the most delusional people on the internet. And before we begin, I'd like to ask you if you enjoy this content, hit the like, the subscribe, and the share. Leave a comment in the bottom. I'd love to hear from you. I'm on the road to 1,000, baby. Help me get there. So let's get into the clips. Flying two airplane seats don't fix my problem. Airplanes are too small for big people. It's 2024. Bodies are changing. So planes should too. I won't lose my to fit on a plane. So give me another solution or just make the seats bigger. Honestly, you know what you're doing. You had a camera behind you as you're walking down the aisle. You're just filming yourself. This is just clickbait, really. I know I'm doing it, but, you know, this is sad that... that Anybody, including women, would have to go through this just for clout um, and make up an issue of, you know, I I'm too big for the plane seats. Well, your fat ass needs to lose some weight. I'm a big boy. I'm not going to complain about an airplane seat if I can't fit my fat ass in it. I'm fat. I should lose some weight and I would fit into the airplane seat again. Why does everybody think that the world is fair and that... They need to be accommodated. Nobody owes you nothing. There is no accommodation in this world. You should not expect accommodation. So if you're walking around with this gigantic fat ass. Expecting to go everywhere. Expect people to look at you. Expect people not to have an accommodation for you. Expect them basically be like a novelty on the internet. That's what you've done relegated yourself. Let's go into the next clip. I want a man 6'4", 6 6'2 6 is fine, or like a retired NBA player. NBA player? <laughs> I just want somebody, like I want his life to be the Bible. You know, I gotta point out that these ridiculous ass hags, these 304s that have been ran through, now have like, have their come to Jesus moment, and they've even used like the name of a pornography, like an old school one. Um, girls Gone Wild, These girl, they, they named their podcast Girls Gone Bible, and um, just, the, just the ridiculous statement, I want I want a 6'4", 6'5", ex-retired basketball player. Could you imagine, could you imagine a man asking the, the equivalency of what she just asked for? Imagine me saying, you know what, I, I really need me a retired uh fashion model I, I i really you know uh, you know victoria's secret model that's all you know just a little bit i mean i deserve it like i just want somebody who's so obsessed with the bible and so obsessed with jesus and who understands and like we said like who can teach us things yeah like i want my dude to speak in tongues and have tattoos you hear the unrealistic nature of what she's asking uh retired basketball player six four six five that's already only like five percent of the population he wants to speak in tongues he wants to live the bible um be a great man and then probably i'm assuming that she wants him to be loyal to her um be the bad boy but the good guy at the same time uh have a bunch of money be good looking um all these other nonsensical things let's hear what this other you know 304 wants to this this priceless this this godless heathen has to say I just want a good man. Like a nice classic man. I want somebody who will literally protect me and beat someone's butt if they need to, but also will sit there with compassion and just like a good hearted man. That's what a true man is. There yeah. has to be that dichotomy. It's the same thing with feminine women too. There's always a dichotomy, yeah. but there's a softness yeah. and a strength. Yeah. Yeah, that dichotomy, get the hell out of here. And then she was like, I want, I just want a Man. I, I, I want a good guy that could beat somebody's butt if need be. You know, I love how they talk so, like, gingerly. Oh, so meek. But there was probably tons of good guys 
there's probably tons of good guys in their DMs right now they ignore. There's tons of good guys they ignored all their lives. But they just got ran through and ran through and ran through and had sex with, with dozens of don dozens upon dozens of strangers in nightclubs just doing all the nastiest things that you could imagine. And then have the nerve to, to get on their podcast named after a porn, porno. It's uh, unrealistic. There's blasphemy. And for men, being masculine is being able to beat someone's butt. You know, maybe not physically, but like being a... So basically, she wants violence. She, doesn't she realize the people that are like that, the emotional people, they're all filled in jails. Our jails are filled with these emotional people who beat people's butts. Protector and like doing what he needs to do to protect his family, but then also being soft enough to like be able to tend to his wife's feelings and like to be a good, loving father yeah. to his kids. Yeah. Like, there's got to be that dichotomy. Lady, you're probably in your early to mid 30s. You passed up all these men all these years. Uh, now that's what you're asking for, and, and you play this most ridiculous music uh, behind your 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 begging and pleading on the internet. Of like, look how good I am. I, I don't really want that much stuff. You're asking for, you know, less than 1% of the population. Why do you think you deserve this? No, seriously. If I ask for something that equivalency, granted, you're, you're good looking. You're universally attractive. What what do you bring to the table other than this this now newfound, you know, holier than now? You didn't care about this before. You didn't care about these good guys before. Now you need a good guy who's six and a half foot tall, ex-basketball player, who can beat somebody's butt and masculine and all this other stuff. You didn't care about none of that back in the day. You didn't care about none of it. You got ran through. You're used up. This is why women like this deserve less. Hello, I'm Admiral Rachel Levine. This Black History Month, I'm pleased to partner with OMH in advancing better health through better understanding for black communities. Climate change is having a disproportionate effect on the physical and mental health of black communities. Black Americans are more likely than white Americans to live in areas and housing that increase their susceptibility to climate-related health issues. And 65% of black Americans report feeling anxious about climate change's impact. Through our Office of Climate Change and Health Equity and the Office of Environmental Justice, we're working with providers and community leaders to identify innovative approaches that empower communities to address the health consequences linked to climate change. Visit hhs.gov for more information and tune in next Thursday to hear from another HHS leader on how you can contribute to advancing better health for black communities. She, this person said 65% of black people feel anxious about climate change. Yeah, the man that is an admiral for the United States military, the pretending to be a woman, is telling you about climate change in Black History Month and trying to link all these things together. That's why they probably feel anxious. It's absurd. It's crazy. I told you these people were delusional. I told you they were nuts. And if you agree... Give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me a subscription. Give me a like. Tell me I'm crazy. Tell me I'm delusional. And I hope I see you in the next one. I'm Simple Son. I'm out.